If you were Virgil van Dijk right now, what would you be thinking? Or, or the other names you mentioned as well uh, in that Liverpool squad? You're going like, him? Well, yeah, I mean, if let's look, Mane, who has been out. Everyone's been talking about Mane as the first pick on Liverpool's team sheet. You know, one of the best players. Virgil van Dijk hasn't had as good a season as he had last year. He's made a couple of mistakes um, within that this year, which he didn't make last year. He's still been absolutely outstanding. But Mane would be the one. You know, everybody's talking about, you know, what a humble guy, how magnificent he has been this season. But, you know, he doesn't even get in the top three. Mm. Realistically, and I, and I don't care whether you're a Liverpool fan, a Manchester United fan, Manchester City fan. Right this moment, if you had the option, would you buy Mane or would you buy Marcus Rashford? I think it's a no-brainer. You buy Mane every single I think day. with Marcus Rashford, there's this huge, oh, what a magnificent talent. How amazing has he been? Well, has he really? You know, when you look at the goals scored, yeah, I think there are much better players out there than he has been this season. Mason Greenwood, look at his performances. You know, Rashford has done okay, but he's not been amazing. He's not been absolutely outstanding. You know, would Rashford make PFA, PFA Team of the Year? Where's Mane on that list? Uh, hang on a minute. Everyone's been banging on about Mane as one of the best players in the world at the moment. Where is he? Why have they yeah. not voted for Mane? That, that's what I don't understand. It seems very, very strange. You know, Raheem Sterling was exceptional up until sort of Christmas time period. There have been, you know, Kevin De Bruyne has just been simply outstanding. 